My name is Guy Pepiat. Um, I'm a dealer in British drawings and watercolours from the 18th and 19th century. Um, I've specialised in watercolours for almost 25 years. I think the exciting thing really is a lot of it to do with discovery, the excitement of researching a picture which comes to me, maybe discovering who the artist is, um, and trying to discover things which maybe are unrecognised. I think the one vital thing is the condition of a, of a watercolour. Um, but anything on paper is prone to fading over time, it can be damaged by light. So the important thing is to look at pictures in, in good condition, either colours are strong, um, equally there should be no tears to, to the paper. Uh, I think part of it is, is the beauty of the, of, of the pictures. Um, you know, fant the quality of them is fantastic. I think also I love the historical element. Watercolours developed really as a, as a form of recording the landscape um, in the mid 18th century. This is a view of stains done in 1842 by Thomas Mars Richardson. It shows a little village, which of course stains now is very built up, not the most attractive of places. This is a view by William Wilde of Dresden, again done in the same period. Of course, much of central Dresden was destroyed in the war, so again, it's a unique record really of what, of what the city looked like. Again, over here, this is a view of Eton taken from Windsor Castle, and that was done in 1849. An artist like Turner, I've noticed, is very much in demand. Um, people tend to go for the bigger names, um, Gainsborough and Constable are other examples. Um, most people know Edward Lear as an inventor of limericks, but actually he was a very talented artist. The really interesting thing about these two is that you're seeing two parts of the process of producing a watercolour. So this is an on-the-spot sketch she did. This is Capri, from the mainland of Italy, done, as you see, 22nd of August, 1838. Two years later, he produces this finished work done in the studio based on this sketch. This is one of the most important and interesting watercolours I have at the moment. It's by, it's by Thomas Girton who died very young, aged only 27. Um, he was a great friend of Turner. Um, in fact, there's a famous quote from Turner saying, if poor Tom had lived, I would have starved. Um, and one of the most interesting things about this is the view of Primrose Hill, done in about 1800. So it's a fascinating historical record of parts of North London, as well as being by a very interesting artist. Mm -hmm.